Hi guys, it's me, Zoriana again, and today we'll be making pizza monkey bread. Well, you tasted it. I liked it, but it was a bit spicy at first. So, hmm, it's nice. And they took it to school. People were like, oh, what's that? I didn't want anything. It's pizza monkey bread. And let's go right into the video. First, you need whole milk, butter, pop this in the microwave and warm, like warm. For our dry ingredients, we add salt and instant yeast for to our flour. Instant yeast, stir the salt in one side and the bowl of these in the other side before mixing it all in. Oh, wee! Mix, 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 mix. You wanna mix it, wanna mix it. <laughs> okay, well done brother. We're going to use a Ninja Food processor with our adult attachment. Pull that in to the Ninja Food Processor. <laughs> then we, here is our warm milk and butter, our wet ingredients. Give it a good stir to get all that mixed in. You should be able to dip your finger without burning you. Whoa. Oh, never mind that. Add our wet to our dry ingredients. Cover it and let the machine process it. You, you can also knead it by hand or a stirred mixer using your doll hook. Select low doll function on your Ninja IQ. Let it process for four minutes. Ooh, you know you have a good doll when your bowl is nice and clean. You don't want like dough all over it. That would be disgusting. Trust me. And get that big plumpy thing out i think that's the what is it it like stirs it yeah that's a bit messy you know you know you know you know you just want to knead form it into the ball look at that nice ball and see how smooth it is oh that looks really smooth in my way like a, <laughs> like a baby's bottom <laughs> okay add some oil oil to clean the dough we put our dough into the bowl Cover it and allow it to dry for two hours. Ay, 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 that's a long time. Now, let it move our pizza toppings. Ooh, fillings. Tomato sauce. We got minced garlic, chopped pickled jalapeno, Ugh. chopped fresh basil, mozzarella cheese. And you want to pick that all up. And did you forget to like and subscribe? Oh, no. Just please like and subscribe. I'm only eight years old. Please do it for the little girl. And add the chopped pepperoni. And make sure to like and subscribe. I am warning you. Mix it all together and set it aside. I am warning you. I am. Moving on. We are, we are going to use a bunt bacon tin. Oh, make it into like that shape. Coat it with oil. Just cover it all in. That way it won't stick. After two hours, a dough has doubled size. Oh yeah, yeah. It doesn't look good, baby boy. Deflate it with your hand and knead it. A quick knead. It's like a baby's bottom. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get on with this. Sorry. Spread it out on your work surface. You can roll it with a rolling pin. We can cut them into squares. The crumb went off the part, so it didn't show. So take one piece of the dough and open it up. Fill it with some mother lella. <laughs> Love mother lella. <laughs> and form it into a ball, like so. You do it to all the pieces. And when I say all, I mean all. It might take like about four or five minutes to do. It's quite quick. But when you have like a thousand pieces, that's going to take you like two hours to do. <sighs> wow. You just want to put it in. And make sure to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. 
Once the bowls are full, we are going to assemble everything into the baking tin. Scoop some more mixture into the separate bowl and add it into the bowl a few at a time. Like three or four at a time, that will make it good. And then just stir, stir, stir it up, up, stir. Cut the dough all with the mixture. Then you want then we want to put it into our bunt tin. Once it's completely coated, arrange them into the tin or the bunt tin. Repeat this process until the dough balls are coated and arranged into the tin. So one, two, three, or maybe four. I don't care. Just do any. Let's see. Ooh, this is looking quite good. And then we got... Oh, put the sauce in. Okay. Okay. Are you going to put the rest of the sauce in from the other bowl? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You do it. I'm not the one telling you to do it. So, really, do what you like. And then here it is. Once you have the cover red in the churn fill, leaving this to proof from 45 minutes. Ah. I just want to wrap that tight on so no air like comes out, so it can like the yeast can come up again. I was fully it. It is nicely ready and it's ready for the oven. That's why I said you want it to rise a lot, so it becomes very puffed up. Bake it to 180 degrees Celsius for 45 to 85 minutes after that after 45 to 80 minutes it is ready oh wow that looks a bit burnt no lie let it go for 10 to 15 minutes and then invert it onto the plate oh wow just steaming hot wow that was quite nice you know garnish it with some basil and leave it and serve yum 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 Yum, 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 yum. And because it's actually bored, you can just get your fork and just pull it out so it's not like that hard to find the piece to pull it out. Really, it's because it's all in bored, so it's not that hard. Except when you break it. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to eat it too when I taste it. I liked it, but it was a bit spicy. I want to roll yellow. Ah, it's spicy, it's spicy, it's spicy. But I didn't actually do that. So please don't do that. Especially when you live in a flat. You have neighbors. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.